Yeah, this is one of the great questions of consciousness because you can obviously make a computer that spits out the word red when you point it at something red. But when we have the experience of red or the really passionate experience of chocolate or of love and, and so on, those kind of experiences transcend the label that even that I'd say an artificial intelligence might put on that thing. That's why we say AIs, you know, maybe aren't conscious because they're just spitting out an answer. But what is that difference? And we use this word qualia typically to refer to these experiences, the subjective, the awareness of something that goes beyond just labeling an experience to actually like feeling it, experiencing it as something whole. This is the big question, right? We have a strong intuition that there are some processes, some systems that are just not sufficient to generate any kind of experience. So programming a computer to say red when it, you point its camera at a red bus, that doesn't give us the sense that there is therefore an experience of redness happening for that computer. But if we look at a red bus, that there is. And that's the starting point of there being anything to explain about consciousness. We have these experiences and there is something going on. And therefore, there's a challenge in explaining it. So I'm in this sense, I'm what philosophers might call a phenomenal realist. So you know, I believe that experiences happen and we're not mistaken about the fact that we have conscious experiences. Uh, but the word qualia, qualia, is problematic. I mean, it's been a bit of a philosophical football in the field for a very long time. In one sense, it's perfectly legitimate because it just points to this phenomenal realism, this difference between mm -hmm. a computer that spits out red and the experience of redness. If you or I look at a red thing and say red. Uh, but in another sense, the word takes on, I think, some additional and more challenging connotations. So the idea of, of, of a sort of mental stuff, you know, what is this stuff of experience? Where mm -hmm. is it? How does it relate to it? You begin to think more in terms of a, again, sort of backdoor dualism. How does this qualia relate to, to brain activity? It imbues it with a kind of substance of some form that, that then complicates the problem. So I don't know, in all honesty, how to address that problem. But I do know you can sidestep it a little bit.